we are at right now is uh, To the Streets, which is the Hand Eye Society's uh, initiative to try bringing video games to the streets. <laughs> to the Streets is kind of um, this idea that uh, we're trying to sort of intervene in public uh, with video games and recapture the idea of how in the 80s people played in public. There was the arcades that would sort of throw a quarter down and, and you know, play with their friends and meet new people and meet new games and stuff. We have a giant projector and we have some local games and we're having people come walk down the street and see this happening and come play the games. We have a few spots picked out that we think might work well um, based on if we can set up the projector, the street traffic, um, how long we'll be able to stick around before people ask us to leave. and my game is called Space Race. My company is called Think Rad. It exists only as an installation right now, so it's a four-player party game. Uh, you can play it uh, two to four players, I guess, but it's, it's best suited as kind of just this hectic brawl. You know, so we throw up huge video projections, uh, mostly local Toronto games, so people can find out about what's going on in their city, game-wise, and that there is an indie game scene in Toronto at all. For a lot of the people we met today, they, you know, didn't know about it, and were quite delighted by it sort of suddenly uh, becoming part of their night. I think it's important to reach out to the public with art in general. It's fun uh, not only watching people playing the game, but playing it with them, and just explaining how it works and getting them into it, so. It, it is quite an interesting experience. A is jump the green button. Yes, it's jump. Yeah, okay. you're you're the you're the yellow character. Oh. When people die, they come back to life. Yeah. Uh, but when the game's in YOLO mode, if you die, you don't come back. Mobile games that are just one person, or you know, online games that are still just like you playing with other people, but alone. Like I I, I definitely prefer like the local multiplayer experience as sort of a, a nice a nice sense of kinship it brings. I think a little bit of spectacle goes a long way first step for more people uh, you know making games and becoming part of that conversation is to know about what's going on in the community that there is a community that there's like you know that that um, the games are they're different they're not all the same kind of games and uh, and you know seeing them in public you know you get that possibility of, of, of random people coming across it and being inspired creatively and you know sort of sparking that interest. The idea of playing against people that you know you've just met in the street is kind of neat, and um, like the surprise of just seeing something happens out of nowhere.